Let us now take the fifth module from this topic of mensuration where we are going to discuss questions related to the volume of solid shapes. This is a very important concept from mensuration which can be used to solve number of questions from this topic. Let us first have a look at the given question. A metal sphere of diameter 16 cm is melted and small balls of radius 2 cm each are cast from the molten form. How many such small balls will be formed? So as given here, there is a metal sphere of diameter 16 cm. It is first melted and from the molten form or from that liquid that we get, we form small balls of radius 2 cm each. So the question is, how many such small balls will be formed in this case? One important point that we need to understand here to solve such questions is that whenever a solid is converted from one form to the other, its volume remains constant. That is, whenever one solid shape is constructed to some other solid shape or maybe same shape of different size, the various parameters may change but volume will always remain constant. So the concept here is that volume should always be constant whenever conversion of solid takes place. Volume is to be taken as constant. That means total initial volume should be equal to total final volume. Initial volume should be equal to the final volume. Right? So not only in case of sphere changing to sphere, even when we change a sphere into a cylinder or let's say a cube is converted into a cone. So the various parameters like area, total surface area may change, but the volume of both the objects will remain constant or the total volume remains constant. That is whatever is the total initial volume that should be equal to the total final volume. Now in this case we find that a metal sphere of diameter 16 centimeter is melted. So initially we have only one metal sphere of diameter 16 centimeter. It is melted and then small balls of radius 2 cm each are cast from it. Now a ball again is a sphere itself. That means here sphere is being converted into small spheres of radius 2 cm each. So we are supposed to find out how many such small balls or how many such small spheres will be formed. Initially we have only one large sphere of diameter 16 cm. But after conversion we have number of small spheres of 2 cm each. So total initial volume will be nothing but volume of this large sphere and total for the final volume will be equal to the volume of each of the small sphere multiplied by the number of spheres. Let us assume the number of spheres that are formed is equal to n. The number of spheres or balls as given in this case is equal to n. So initial volume or total initial volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube that is nothing but the volume of a sphere. This should be equated to n into 4 by 3 pi, let us take it as small r, small r cube. So this is the volume of the larger sphere. Capital R is the radius of the larger sphere, the initial sphere. N is the number of spheres formed and small r is the radius of each of those small balls which are formed. So by simplifying this equation, we can find out the required answer. Now we find that 4 by 3 pi and 4 by 3 pi gets cancelled on both the sides. So we have capital R whole cube equals to N into small r whole cube. Capital R is nothing but the radius of large sphere. Now as given in the question, the diameter of that metal sphere is 16. If the diameter is 16, radius will be 8 centimeters. Why? Because radius is equal to diameter by 2. So 16 by 2 will be equal to 8. So this can be taken as 8 cube. This should be equal to n into small r is given as 2 centimeter each. That means the radius of each of those small balls formed is equal to 2 centimeters. So this should be taken as 2 cube. So by simplifying this, we get n equals to 8 cube by 2 cube. 2 cube is nothing but 8. So 8 cube by 8 is 8 square, which is equal to 64. So we can say that the number of small balls that are formed in such a case will be equal to 64. So this is how we can use this concept of volume being constant whenever a solid is converted from one form to other. So simply apply that total initial volume equals to total final volume. Let us now discuss another example from model 5 of mensuration which is again based on keeping the volume constant. The question says find the number of bricks each measuring 25 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters by 7.5 centimeters required to construct a wall 12 meters long, 5 meters high and 0.25 meters thick while the sand and cement mixture occupies 5% of the total volume of the wall. 
Now, if you try to observe, the given dimensions of the brick are 25 centimeters, 12.5 centimeters, and 7.5 centimeters. That is the length, the breadth, and the thickness of the brick. And the wall to be constructed here is 12 meters long, 5 meters high, and 0.25 meters thick. And it clearly says that the sand and cement mixture will occupy 5% of the total volume of the wall. And we are supposed to find out the number of bricks required in construction of this wall. We all understand that for the construction of the wall, bricks along with sand and cement mixture is required. That means again here we see that number of bricks along with sand and cement mixture come together to form a wall. So that's like small cuboids are coming together to form a large cuboid. These dimensions here show that the brick is like a cuboid. Again, the wall also is like a cuboid. So again, we can understand that the total initial volume should be equal to total final volume. Or the total volume of bricks and the sand and cement mixture together should be equal to the volume of the wall. So let us assume that total volume or initial volume equals to the final volume. Here there is nothing like initial and final, but we can say that volume of volume of bricks plus sand and cement mixture should be equal to volume of the wall. So we find that the concept is same. Instead of saying initial volume equals to final volume, the volume of all those things together should be equal to the volume of wall. And we know that the sand and cement mixture takes 5%, 5% of the wall. Let us assume that the volume of the wall is nothing but 100% of the wall. So volume of bricks plus 5% of the volume of wall should be equal to 100% of the volume of wall. Why? Because sand and cement mixture as given here is 5% of the total volume. Now we can now understand that the volume of all the bricks together, volume of all the bricks together should be equal to 100% minus 5%, 95% of the volume of the wall, 95% of the wall. Right? Or otherwise directly also we can say that the volume of the bricks together should be equal to 95% of the wall. Why? Because 5% of the volume of wall is occupied by sand and cement mixture. Now, volume of bricks is nothing but the number of bricks N into the volume of each brick. Volume of each brick as given here is 25 centimeters into 12.5 centimeters into 7.5 centimeters. But the point to be observed here is the dimensions of brick are in centimeters and the dimensions of wall are in meters. So we cannot simply take this in centimeters and this in meters. This has to be converted to meters. So 25 centimeters is nothing but 25 by 100 meter. 12.5 centimeter is 12.5 by 100 meter and 7.5 centimeter is 7.5 by 100 meters. Why? Because 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters. So by dividing all these three by 100 each, we get the values in terms of meters. So this is like 25 by 100 meter, 12.5 by 100 meter and 7.5 by 100 meter. This should be equal to 95% is 95 by 100 into the volume of the wall. Volume of wall will be nothing but length into breadth into height. So that is 12 into 5 into 0 0.25. All these are in meters. So we need not convert. So now if you observe both the sides are balanced as meter cube. So by simplifying this equation, we can find out the number of bricks n and that will come out to be 6080. So we can say that 6080 bricks are required in construction of such a wall of the given dimensions. So this is how friends, whenever you see that two types of solids or number of solids are coming together to form another solid, then we always go for volume to be constant. That is total initial volume should be taken as total final volume and the required answer can be obtained.